right, this is Stephanie from Let's Talk Bitcoin. We're here at Inside Bitcoins NYC, and I've got Tatiana Moroz with me. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited to chat with you because this is right before, we're recording this right before your big concert tonight, and you're ex announcing a special, exciting announcement, right? Yes, uh, we're announcing the uh, advent of Tatiana Coin this evening, so it's going to be really exciting. I'm doing a master coin, and we're going to do it at the New York City Bitcoin Center. We're having a DJ and all sorts of fun stuff, so it should be fun. Cool. So what is Tatiana Coin? Is this like the beginning of, um, you know, sort of crypto equities? Does it have to do with the fact that you're a musician? And are they like buying equity in your songs? Um, it's a it's sort of like a crowd sale of, uh, of my future work and the content that I create. So the way we're, well, it's still definitely being developed. So things are kind of changing as we go along. But the way that we're looking at it right now is that people would kind of use it like an Indiegogo campaign. But instead of just getting prizes, they would also get tokens, which they could later redeem with Tatiana stuff. And then those tokens would later on be um, interchangeable with art, other artist coins and other coins created on the master coin protocol. So we hope that the value of it will go up as I become more popular. And this way, it's a great way, in my opinion, to get the fans involved so they can have a longer term experience with you and also get something back for believing in me early. So I'd like to see it extend to a lot of different artists. So I'm, I'm going to be the guinea pig. Right. Wow. That's really cool. So it sounds like you're one of the first people to do this. I mean, do you have, other, do you have other plans to, um, like, are you going to sell concert tickets with it? Or are you going to use the blockchain for other purposes related to your work? You know, I literally just started working on this two weeks ago. So the possibilities, in my opinion, are endless. The way that I would like to really be able to help is by serving as that example, then maybe making a model for especially musicians to get funded. Because something that I found in New York, you know, I used to work at a lot of different recording studios, and the worst people are in the studio, and all these great artists, they don't even have the money to get in there. And if they've got a few people that are really willing to work with them, I think that um, this is more of a long-term investment in the artist. So I want to see that help help uh, revolutionize the music industry. Right. So. Do you see in like five years every artist having their own sort of coin? Well, five years is pretty soon, but I think that, yeah, I would like to see different things funded this way. And not just art, like artists in, in terms of musicians, like what about films, what about video ideas, all sorts of creative endeavors. I'm sure that MasterCoin probably is thinking some more practical companies, but for me, I, I see the possibilities in terms of the creative side. So why did you choose to go through MasterCoin? There are some other protocols available like, you know, Counterparty and... Uh, uh, bit shares. Why did you go with MasterCoin? Well, you know, I have a lot of good advisors and we kind of looked over all the different things that everybody was offering. And what I really like about MasterCoin is that they have a team there that I can actually call up and bounce ideas off of. And they seem really enthusiastic about it. And for me, that person-to-person -person experience is really important, which you don't necessarily get with other companies. So um, that's why I chose MasterCoin. Huh. So... What would somebody have to do to get some of your tokens? Like, would they have to download the MasterCoin software? Or like, what do they have to... How easy is it, basically? I think it's pretty easy. I think that basically you would just be going through... You know, MasterCoin has their own wallet, right? We're not even issuing the coins until after we do the crowdfunding thing. So what I want to do is make it as easy as possible. Actually, I don't even know. How do you monetize your work? Like, do you sell t concert tickets? Do you sell albums or songs? Like, how does that work? Well, I never want to cut out the average regular old fan, right? This is almost like a super fan thing. So they would get exclusivity, you know, special videos that I don't necessarily release to the public maybe a little bit early. They would get discounts on albums. They would get to uh, participate in different contests where we say, okay, well, do you like this version better or this version better? What's going to make it onto the album? Which album cover do you like better? I mean... I think you can just be creative with it, and I haven't outlined all of that stuff yet, but that's kind of what I'm going to focus on next week. This week, I'm kind of just getting people excited and getting their feedback about what they would want from that experience as well. Okay, so those are things that you just listed that you don't do currently, but you would like to do, and that it would be possible to do with Tatiana Coin. Well, I think that this provides me with a lot more structure in terms of making sure that I end up doing things like that. You know, it gives me things to plan and ways to... Uh, interact with people and I don't know kind of holds me to a certain interaction level because you can get on the road and then next thing you know you haven't written a blog in I don't know two years and uh, well maybe not that long but you know what I'm saying I think that having that kind of set date it's like a relationship you want to cultivate that so this will 
kind of facilitate that, I guess, a little bit more than just tune into my show whenever it's on, and that's all. Cool. All right. So where can people go online to find out more about the coin and about your music? Um, they can go to TatianaMoroz.com or TatianaCoin.com, and there's information on both of those. I'm on Twitter with Queen Tatiana and YouTube Forever More Tatiana, so I'm putting out a bunch of videos on there, too. Thank you so much for chatting with me, Thanks and so good luck with your concert tonight. I'll be there. See you later. Awesome. See you later on. CryptoKit is the world's first Chrome browser Bitcoin wallet. It's the easiest, fastest Bitcoin wallet payment system. With a simple one-click install, it takes just seconds to get your wallet set up. And because CryptoKit finds the address and payment for you, there's no more fussing around or tab switching. CryptoKit is more than just a wallet. It comes with a preloaded PGP encrypted social network, news feeds from Reddit and Google, and up-to-date charts from exchanges. Finally, CryptoKit directory allows you to make two-click payments with any of the BitPay merchants. Once you install CryptoKit, you won't need anything else. For more information or to download CryptoKit, visit CryptoKit.com.